Item number, SCP-424, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. Samples of SCP-424 have been relegated to the laboratory of Dr. to be administered to by researchers Dr. Tidbury and Dr. Herman. The central contingent mass is allowed to free run of personnel levels 2, 3, and 4 of Sector 28, as it has demonstrated an acceptable level of personableness as well as basic understanding of the concepts of privacy and personal space. There are, however, isolated incidents in which these courtesies have not been observed by SCP-424, though not in such frequency as to merit additional containment procedures. Complaints are available to Level 3 Human Resource Staff and Personnel Archive C-424. Supplemental Personnel are advised not to take violent action against SCP-424 due to the nature of its behavior. If it becomes an annoyance, simply ask it to leave. If it refuses, file a complaint and report to one of my assistants. Thank you. Dr. Description SCP-424 was discovered accidentally in early 2004 at a gas station in Campbell River, British Columbia. Documentation of discovery and capture can be found in log number 424B, files 424-1-10. SCP-424, at rest, appears to be a smooth, gelatinous mass, with equal black and white coloration. No patterns are observed to form on its surface while in this resting position, though the shades constantly shift position. In actuality, SCP-424 is a vast collection of microscopic organisms. Whether they function as a group, or by a single, or multiple consciousnesses, is unknown, as samples taken display behavior similar, yet independent, to that of the main mass. Origin of pigmentation is currently under investigation, but not prioritized under main research staff. The central mass has a variable volume, and remains at a constant 34 degrees Celsius, regardless of the surrounding temperature. As far as can be determined, SCP-424 lacks detectable sensory features, though is capable of observing its environment by tactile, aural, visual, and olfactory means, by methods still being tested and studied. SCP-424 has the ability to mold and harden its malleable composition into the shape of any object or organism that it has previously seen, though it's not capable of reproducing the color or function, other than movement, of that form. It can also rearrange its pigmentation to suit the surface patterns of any new form taken, despite not being able to reproduce color. Addendum Escaped sample of SCP-424 has proven that the organisms can survive digestion. Staff mugs are to be labeled and painted brightly to avoid future incidents. Addendum Neither the central mass nor any samples taken require solid or liquid nourishment. Working theory is that it or they thrive through constant motion, hence the constant shift of surface pattering when at rest. Addendum while SCP-424 is more than willing to take suggestions for shapes to imitate, it should be noted that it is not human, and is not likely to respond as such to physical gestures of intimacy. This is to be considered a general warning to resident staff, and disregard of such is grounds for transfer to facility insufficient security clearance for immediate reassignment. Addendum should SCP-424 become still or hidden enough to be unable to locate, it may be called by number, or enticed into view by offering it something to mimic, more so if it is something that hasn't been mimicked yet. Other methods are not generally recommended. Addendum Movies of the horror genre have been removed from recreational equipment storage cabinets in regard to SCP-424's reaction to the August 2005 screening of aliens. All duct work is to be examined for any possible accidental fragments of SCP-424's main mass. Relevant Files Archive C-424 Files 1 through 10 Capture Report Log 424B 
File number 424-1. SCP-424 was discovered accidentally in early 2004 at a Mohawk gas station in Campbell River, British Columbia, where it had assumed the shape of an on-shift employee, donned a reflective vest, and had begun operating the gas pumps. After allowing it to do so for approximately four hours, the manager of the station placed a call to local authorities, and the case was forwarded to covert operatives and Cornwell. Operative debriefing. Excerpt. File number 4242. We chased it down this alley and it just disappeared into thin air. I look over at Cornwell to ask him if he saw anything, and he's white as a sheet. I ask him if he's okay, and he points back the way we came. I figured that he's pointing which way he saw it go, so I make tracks out of the place. And then out of nowhere I run headlong into Cornwell, who's apparently surprised that I am where I am, as I had somehow just pointed him in the direction of the thing's escape. Long story short, yes, we did have some difficulty procuring the object of interest. Transport Materials Requisition Record File Number 4243 Storage Van Cleaning Company Decals Aquarium 56 liters, sealed, 1. Portable DVD player, 1. DVD, a public garden, 1. Hand dolly, two-wheeled, 1. Shirt, tie-dye design, 4. Resident staff complaints, confidential, file number, 4244-4. I walked into the staff restroom and that thing followed me in, so I asked it to leave. I thought it had gone. I was facing the urinal, and it walked up to the next one over and started impersonating me. I asked it to leave again and it just smiled at me. Found it impossible to urinate while it was watching. Requesting more strict level of containment. Dr. Dalamore. I left my laboratory this morning to discover that not only had the door to the region storage room been locked, but a duplicate of the door itself had appeared across the hallway, complete in every way save for the lack of the mandated green stripe painted on the original, requesting more strict level of containment. Dr. Dalamore. It took the shape of my mattress. Refused to elaborate. Requesting more strict level of containment. Dr. Dalamore. While writing a letter of complaint about SCP-424, my stationery crawled off the table and under a door. I give up. Requesting change of quarters or reassignment to another facility in a different country. Dr. Dalamore. I think 424 is getting smarter. While writing up the results of a non-essential experiment, the words I'd written with my now standard rainbow-cased pen began to rearrange themselves. The little bastard had crawled right in and replaced the ink. I have to admit though, it was quite amusing. Think I'm going to teach it to play Pictionary next week. Dr. Montgomery. Files number 424-5 through 424-10. Access permission required. Contact Project Administrator. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-423, Self-Inserting Character, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>